these lips because mm -mm. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nietzsche Dog here and I am back with another video. Today I'm recording on my phone instead of recording on my camera because I have too much stuff on my camera and I don't have enough space to record on there. And I really need to get this video out because I completed this challenge like a week or two ago and it makes no sense that I still haven't did the video. So if you are new, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are returning, thank you so much for returning. Make sure you don't forget to hit that like button, please. If you want to, go ahead and share this video. If you want to help somebody else out that might want to do this challenge and lose some weight in seven days. Just like the title says, um, I jumped roped for seven days. I did that challenge. Fun, not fun. Sorry if, I, if my eyes is going back and forth because I'm trying to focus on the actual camera and not looking at the video. I'm not used to that because I don't have to deal with that with my camera, but yeah. So anyway, I did the seven day jump rope challenge and it was, to me, it was a success because I lost weight and I seen the difference and I do have before and after videos, not photos, videos. And then I have videos of me actually jump roping and we will get into that. First thing I will say is the jump rope. I got a weighted jump rope these are weighted and it is nine feet now listen i'm five three i don't need no nine foot jump rope it makes no sense i looked on google and it actually told me i needed an eight foot jump rope i had went to walmart and all they had was nine foot jump rope so i had no choice but to get this so if you can try to order it off of amazon or, you know, if you do go to Walmart, just get the jump rope that's in your size range. Yeah, so I did this for seven days. 10 minutes a day, I jumped rope. 10 minutes, that's it. 10 minutes, that is it. That's less time than taking a shower. To jump rope and to, within seven days, and to lose weight and slim down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I should, I wanted to try the 14, and I wanna try the 30 day challenge of doing the jump rope. Cause me jumping up and going to the gym is like, I'm paying for a gym membership and I haven't been in I think four months. Yeah, so seven days I jumped rope, 10 minutes a day. Now there was times that it would be 10 o'clock and I still, you want some milk? One second. Okay, I'm back. Back to what I was saying, Kyrie needs milk. Um, what was I at? Okay, yeah, it was times that it'll be 10 o'clock, then it's going on 11 o'clock, then it's going on 12 o'clock, and I still didn't do my jump rope, my 10 minute jump rope, and yeah, just get it over with. That's, just get it over with. Don't try to wait last minute to do it. It's literally just 10 minutes. That's it, just 10 minutes. So, you know, knock that 10 minutes out. After, you're going to feel amazing about it because you have accomplished something now. If you, you know, skip a day the next day you're gonna be feeling so hurt and then you're gonna have to add another day to the end of the week <laughs> and yeah no you don't want to do that just go ahead and knock out the 10 minutes it's just 10 minutes yes yeah, tiring but it's just 10 minutes so i just i constantly told myself you know apply that pressure and trust the process at the end i'm gonna be and get to where i want to be you just got to put that work in you can't just want to look like something and want to feel the type of way about yourself and not do anything about it that doesn't make sense you have to put that work in you heard so yeah i did drink a lot of water but i did not drink as much water as i usually drink like i can literally drink a half a gallon a gallon a day if i'm trying but you know, during that time period, I was drinking water, but I was not drinking a half a gallon of water a day. But I did try to pay attention to the stuff that I was putting in my body. Like, it's seven days I did not have any fast food. I was eating, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't grubbing. If you want to try to just keep your regular diet and try to jump roping, I really don't know how it's gonna turn out. But at least try to cut out the fast food. If you can cut out the fast food and do the seven day jump rope challenge, you will see a difference. I promise you will. Okay, so starting with day one, talk, let's talk about day one. Day one was difficult for me because, you know, I had to get the hang of the jump rope being too long. And, you know, my arms were sore due to the fact that it is a weighted jump rope, but it wasn't a bad sore. It's like my legs 
the whole seven days was the worst part. Calf muscles, especially because they felt like they were going to explode and burst. Like they were like, it was so, they were so sore. So try to stretch. I did stretch. I stretched before and after. Did it make a difference for me? Nada. It didn't do anything for me. It probably did something, but nothing that I can feel towards just like, oh, my legs don't feel like they're going to burst today. Every day they felt like they were going to burst. I was so ready for the seven days to be over with. It was ridiculous. But, you know, I got through it. So go start for me. First day, kind of tough. Um, I'll probably put I'll scoot this way so I can put the video over here. Um, the first day, you know, it was a lot of stopping, a lot of laughing, because I'm just like, what? This is a lot. Like, I think I would rather run 10 minutes than do this, honestly. And I can't run 10 minutes, just to let you know. I'm so lazy, but besides the point again. But, um, yeah, you can see that I was having trouble with the rope being too long. Then I started getting really tired, so I slowed it down, which go your pace you're doing 10 minutes of jumping of your pace you're not doing 10 minutes of going as fast as you can you don't have to do all that by the end of the seven days you will be able to pick up the speed with jump rope and i promise you will i think i have day one video day two's video and day three's video of me jump roping the last day i had um well let's not jump to the last day let's go to the third day i think i think it was the third day the third day was better, but I was, that's when I started to become over it. I'm like, Ugh. like that. I think the third day was the day that I jumped roped at two in the morning or meant no. Cause I don't think I recorded it. One day I jumped roped at two in the morning because I really waited that late to do it. And then I forced myself to get out of bed because you know, it's a seven day challenge. It's not like a random, you know, jump when you want to jump type thing. So, but yeah. The last day, when I say that was the longest 10 minutes of my life, that was the longest 10 minutes of my life. I was over it. I had my hoodie on, so I did a lot of sweating underneath that. I was dripping sweat underneath that hoodie, but I pushed myself during that time. Like, I really, I put that work in on that last 10 minutes, and I was so happy after the fact. So happy. It's hard. It's not easy. It's hard. It's a good feeling just to accomplish something. So do the seven days and just let this be the boost of energy. Let it be the, the push that you need to get into a healthier, you know, a healthier mindset to just start working out more and, you know, exercise and go to the gym, jump up at home, run a track, go walking, go walking around the neighborhood. Like just do anything. Just honestly, just do it. I'm a very lazy person, but when I need to, I will work out because my weight, I lost a total of 30 pounds, but it's been fluctuating because it'll be a couple of weeks that I'm just binge eating, freaking eating fast food, eating stuff that I really shouldn't be eating. And then I'll jump into this mode where it's just like, I'm not eating meat. I'm about to be pescatarian. I'm, you know, I'm working out. I'm doing, I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. I'm doing all of this. It's just, it, I just have my mood. So it's just like, I'm jumping back and forth from different weights. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going from 10 pounds lighter to 10 pounds heavier. Cause you know, when you step on a scale and you, the gains, everything back, it's just like, yeah, so it's like, we got to get back to work. We have to lose this back because I'd be damned if I'm about to gain back a whole 30 more pounds. I'm fine with gaining 10. It's not going to take nothing but a couple of weeks to, you know, drop a couple of pounds. You know, it, it really doesn't take that long to gain it, but it takes some time to lose it. So it's like, once you get into that, okay. 10 pounds is easier to lose than 30. I refuse to go back to being 30 pounds heavier to where it's like, that right there will put you into like a depression mode. Like, ugh, like I can't stand myself, my body and all this other stuff. So it's just like, just keep up with it. Don't go binge eating. Yeah, what he said. Don't go binge eating and then don't step on that scale 
to where you don't know how much you weigh. Like, don't lose yourself in that way. Like, of course you're gonna step on it and it's gonna save you two pounds heavier. You've been eating McDonald's every day. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie, do you wanna come say hi? Since you, every time I record, he, he has to jump in. Oh, Lord. So within the seven days, we might as well just get into the weight loss part. Within the seven days, I lost a total of four pounds. Four pounds. Yes, four pounds. In a week, seven days. I expect to lose that much. I really thought I was going to lose just two pounds. But, listen, I don't care if you did it for seven days and you lost a pound. One pound of fat is a lot. A lot, a lot. And to just picture one pound in your hand and just, you know, taking one pound off your body and you just holding it, that is a lot of weight. I'll put a picture here. This is what a pound of fat looks like. So if you take off two pounds, a pound, two pounds, three, four, five, that is a lot of weight that you're taking off of you, honey, because a pound is a lot, especially when I didn't, you know, I jump roped at home. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go to the gym, do all this extra stuff. So yeah, one pound is a lot. Don't ever forget that. Be happy with your one pound that you lose because yeah, it's an accomplishment because you did that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw in this video of my before and after video. And yeah, listen, that whole seven days, shorty sure looked a hot mess. I did not do my hair. It stayed in a ponytail and just, it did its own thing for whole seven days. Now, okay, so that was those videos. I could tell the difference. I could tell the difference around my stomach and I can tell, I don't know if I could tell so much around my legs. I haven't seen the videos in a minute. But I could tell the difference that I had, you know, some stuff was getting toned up and it was looking better than it was seven days before. I lost a total of four pounds. My original weight was 165. I'll put the photos here. My original weight was 165, and then my end weight was 162 point something. So I lost three. Yeah, I'm tripping, but doesn't matter. It felt, I felt good. So it's been a couple of weeks since I did that um, challenge, a week or two since I did that challenge. So my memory is kind of fogged up and I'm just jumping on the camera and recording this video. So yeah, but those were my two start and end weight. And yeah, I really feel good about it. I did. Like I said, push yourself. If you're going to do this challenge, just push yourself. It's just seven days and it's just 10 minutes. Like some people have been doing challenges to where it's like a thousand jump ropes a day or 300 or something like that. I never counted how many I did. They do have jump ropes on Amazon that counts how many uh, jumps you do. They do have those, but you know, I don't need all of that. I just did 10 minutes a day and I lost some weight. So you know, some days I probably did less jumps than the next, but like I just said, I lost some weight and 10, 10 minutes a day. That's all it takes. So listen here, ladies, listen here, gentlemen, y'all can do it. Just push yourself to do it. And yeah, I hope y'all like this video. I liked it. I liked doing the challenge. It was fun and it was hard and it was all kind of other stuff, but yeah, I hope y'all like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. There is a subscribe, you know, a word that says subscribe down here at the bottom over here in this area, I believe. And it says subscribe. And it's in red letters. If you click it, it changes colors. I'm just saying. Check it out. But um, yeah, so hit the subscribe button. Like this video. Um, if you want to do this challenge with a friend or if you want to send it to your mama, your grandma, your daddy, your grandpa, your cousin, your best friend, your auntie, I don't care who it is, send it to them and just tell them, hey, let's do this. Let's do 10 minutes a day for seven days. Jump rope. Let's go get a jump rope. I think I only paid less than $12, I think. $12 to get the jump rope. So y'all got this. Peace.